So you call yourself a slut. Yeah. Do your parents know you're a slut? Yep. And what do they think about you being a slut? They love my slutty ass. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> so are they embarrassed? All right. So in this video, Jesse Lee is speaking with his guest, Amber Rose, on people who support degenerate behavior, like the slut walk movement, a movement that most people know is morally reckless and going against the word of God. But again, we are living in a world where people are becoming less godly for immoral reasons. So in this video, Jesse Lee informs his guest, Amber Rose, that her or 21 Savage don't got to be a part of the fallen state just for attention. So with that, like, subscribe, and do me one more favor. Just listen. You are famous for hosting the Amber Rose Slut Walk. Uh, you also have a conference called Open the Woman's Conference, right? Yes. It, what, is that? Yeah, what is that about? Um, yeah, it's a women's conference, so we have a, a lot of different speakers that come in um, and, um, you know, kind of explain different things about feminism, body positivity, um, just equality, slut-shaming, rape culture, and uh, we, we educate. Amazing. You came up with this term, slut. What was the purpose of using that word, slut? Well, if you look... If you look in the dictionary, the definition of a slut, right, right, it starts out and it says a woman that, right, is promiscuous, has a lot of sexual partners, but it never says a person that. It only says a woman. I've never looked that word up, so I can't confirm or deny. Yeah. But it does say a woman. Oh, also promiscuous as well. Promiscuous says a woman that. So... What happens is, is that men can go out and be sexually liberated and have a bunch of women, but if a woman does it, there's all these derogatory labels that come with that, which is an extreme form of bullying for us, is that I embrace the derogatory labels and give women confidence. And what do you mean by you embrace it? Me I would refer to myself as a slut. Oh. So basically, it's really what people think about you. It's not really actually what they know, right? right? right. So... I could, you know, I went through a divorce and then I start dating after that. And it's like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut, then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think going out on a date makes you a slut, but having sex with different men makes you, makes you a slut. Well, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. A slut maker. <laughs> Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? No, it's sad. But, but men actually. shouldn't do that either, though. It's not, I know that a lot of women think that a man is a, that men get away with that, right? Mm -hmm. But they really don't. A man should not be having sex with different women. He, Why not? It's not, it doesn't show respect to the woman. Well, what if she wants it? What if she wants it? And then he should correct her. Because a woman that want sex with different men, but what's the difference is out really between a man? What's really the difference, right? Besides anatomy, like what is the difference? Well, we're, we're both human, right? So if I want to have sex, <laughs> I should be able to have sex when I want to have sex, and I shouldn't be labeled as anything because I'm a human being. How would you define personally define slut? How do you define it? I, I define it as a derogatory word that men and women use against other women to put us down for our sexuality. And so you want to take the shame out of that word so that when women do these things, they won't feel embarrassed by it? But it's not about them doing these things. That's where you, you that's where the mistake comes okay. in, right? So right. It's, you can be a virgin and be called a slut, right? Because it's really what people think about you. It doesn't matter actually what you do, right? So, like, if you're in high school and a boy goes and makes a rumor about you that you did this, that, and the third, it doesn't mean you actually did it. It's right. what people think you did. So now you're the school slut. That's true. So regardless, that's what I mean. You can be called a slut and not actually be a slut. It's just a derogatory word that people use to bully women, to put them down for what they either think they did or what they actually did. So you call yourself a slut. Yeah. Do your parents know you a slut? Yep. And what do they think about you being a slut? They love my slutty ass. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> so are they embarrassed to know that? Oh, my God, no. They, they're, they couldn't be more proud. Um, I... 
I receive letters, uh, DMs on Instagram and Twitter of, you know, women that are like, Amber, you, you really give me the confidence. You, you help me realize that all the name calling, all the bullying, um, it doesn't mean anything. It's only because people are uncomfortable with me. And that's why, you know, I embrace it more so. And I, I almost go far and beyond. Like, I'm extremely extra on purpose to right. prove a point. Amazing. So you, here. you're close to your mother? Very close, yeah. And you have a brother. Are you close to your brother? I have two brothers. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Are you close to them? I am, very. And do they see you as a slut? But do you, what definition of slut are you referring to the one you use uh, well i don't really use slut as a word that's what i'm tr- I'm trying to say so like slut is not really it's just a derogatory label oh, I see. that people use against me so like i just like to piss people off oh, okay. by referring to myself as a slut so if you're asking me do my brothers look at me as someone that has sex with a lot of people or well the fa- i mean the fact that you're willing to wear that title Mm-hmm. Uh, what do they think about it? They think I'm changing the game, the culture, um, giving oh, okay. women confidence. Um, both of my brothers came to my slut walk. Um, really? Yeah, my mom comes to my slut walk every year. This year will be the fourth annual slut walk. Here in L.A.? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how about your father? How does he feel about it? Uh, my dad will come next year. Really? Be the fourth Are you close to your father now? I am. So did you... Uh, forgive him for abandoning you and your mother when you were... He never abandoned us. Oh, what happened? Um, Well, my father was in the military. And so what happened was that uh, my mom got pregnant with me. And, you know, my dad wasn't really on the right path in life. And he decided to man up and join the military so he can give uh, my mother and I a better life. And he did, but he was gone a lot. And while he was gone, you know, the marriage kind of ended. My mom had a really tough life before she had me. And so she, you know, she suffers from depression and anxiety. And that was the only reason why we were, you know, homeless for a brief time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're close to your father now? I've always been close to my father. Yeah. You love him? I do. Or the physical part. What is a man? A man is a human being. A man has emotions. A man, um, you know, is... Um, so you think emotionally and mentally men and women are the same? I think that men are taught not to be the same. I think that's where the problem lies. And I think that's why a lot of men let their pride get in the way um, when it comes to love and showing their emotions. That's what a lot of men lack nowadays is that they can't cry because they're a man. They can't feel emotions because they're a man. And it's really unfortunate because it, um, they internalize everything and then they kind of explode when it becomes too much. Ain't no fee. Digging is free. Now subscribe to the Gamma Degree.